All right, so I'm not here to teach you guys anything new about Benito. Hopefully you already know that they're extremely hard fighting fish and they are very delicious, especially if you take care of them. They are what is considered a trophy fish, so yes, they do get big. According to the California government website, the biggest recorded bonito was 24.9 pounds. Now, one of the best ways to target these bonito is with an ultralight spinning rod. So I was using a Majorcraft Nano Ace finesse rod. I had 6.9 rated 4 to 8 pounds. And then I paired that with a Pen Battle 1000 10 pound braid and some 8 pound flora leader. And I was running a small jerk bait from Shimano. This winter we had a little bit of bonito off our coast, so me and my buddy Josh shot out there and checked it out. It's the first fishing day of the year for us. We're gonna go buy some bait and then we're gonna head out, so stand by. So once we got out to the grounds, one of our buddies, Taylor from Brothers Sport Fishing had given us a call saying that he found some bonito moving fast under birds and they were moving very fast. We walked with them all the way out to eight miles, but we were able to capitalize, and this is what follows. Okay, get in there, get in there, go, pull it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. We're on. Hell yeah. There we go. Dude, I'm getting cool. <laughs> Put it in the back. I'm fucking getting good, dude. Holy dude. Put on the board, baby. Thing, dude. Oh my god. Huh? I need you, Oh! Over there! God! I'm letting my guys practice casting real quick. What? What rope? The rope just Oh, in the back cubby there. Listen to this! <laughs> In a sec, I will. Yeah, let me know when I'm going to bleed this one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is so stupid, but so funny. Let me to gallop him. In a sec, here. Here we go. Yeah. These things are fast, dude. You got some limbs on. Good work, Kimmy. Huh? The juice is gonna be smoked. Dude, that was bit as soon as it hit the water. Were you? Yeah. So, dude, those are all birds hitting them, like flashing, but there's definitely fish all over it, you know? Yeah. Look at he's still alive, bro. It's actually kind of painful. Yeah, fuck can I put them on that? Dude, we need to fucking hammer these things. So fun. Okay, here we go. Here he comes, here he comes. You ready? Play him out. Get him. Nice, dude. That is so fun. Dude. Oh, dude. On the... 
An eight pound. <laughs> so sick. Come over here. Oh my god, dude, look at his mouth. All the chovies? Yeah, hold on, I got a camera. Let me take a photo. Alright, that was pretty crazy, but we got two. Got one on an eight pound test, which was super sick. And Josh got one on the uh, SP Minnow. Cold Sniper. And, oh, Cold Sniper. And we just killed and gutted them. Got them on a nice ice slurry, so hopefully they're good. Ran the wire on them. So now we're gonna try and catch a couple more. We'll see, we don't see it much anymore. Kinda went down, so we'll see what happens here. But uh, yeah, stand by. Oh, fuck, let's get out there. <laughs> Look at this. Well, I know, you're getting smoked. <laughs> Dude, I think it's a yellow. Really? <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> is it a yellow? It's fucking big, whatever it is. <laughs> Wait, this might be a yellow tail, huh? Lots of honor. <laughs> On the cold snipey. What pound test do you have on there? 40, bro. <laughs> what? Dude, no way. Yeah. I've been cooked. I, I have it buttoned up. Maybe it's a tail, dude, or bluefin. <laughs> yeah, this is way bigger than the last one. Oh, he might be foul hooked, that's why. But yeah, it's like almost foaming out here, I guess, just a little west of us. Yeah, but I know you guys want to stay on the inside, but uh, I was just letting you know. We're we're the like... Toad. You got to hook them, gaff them. We're pretty far. We're like seven miles off La Jolla, I think. We're pretty far out here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Come gaff them. Okay. Um, well, I got to gaff this fish, so I'll... I'll uh, good luck. <laughs> Hurry, before he pops off. All right, All right bye. Look at I know, hold on. on, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming, oh yeah, you yeah, super valid. No wonder you're getting cooked. Come on, Jones! Where is it now? <laughs> it went away. All right, go. Oh, it's over there. It's over here. <laughs> <laughs> Over here. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right. Go. What is going on here? I got one. Yeah. Yep. Got one. You got a bomb toe, baby. Do it. Ready? Yep. I'm gonna bounce it. Oh, there's one. Oh, big <laughs> Yeah, you got one. <laughs> oh, there's one. There's another one. You got one. another one? Yep. On the yo yo. <laughs> On the yo yo. On the yo yo. Catch another. <laughs> They're blowing up right here. Are they? Yeah. Oh, right next to us, huh? Listen to this reel, dude. Mine? <laughs> Somewhere over here. I don't even know where I'm at. We're back. We're live. Where's the big spike? Dude, here. No, no, no. It's in the rod holder. Like. See it? No. Yeah? No. Right there. I only have one come under me. Come as well. Real buddy. Oh, it's blowing up right behind us. Look at 
It's like foaming behind us. Where? Look at it, right there. Damn, look at that. Damn. This thing don't want to die, dude. Fuck. Come on, bro. Look at that. You can probably hook hang one right now. Yeah, here he comes. Take your time. It's not up yet. Here, I'll get the fire. Yeah. Endless fun right now. On the bone toads. Eight pound chest. Little jerk bait. Little afternoon fun. Thanks, Taylor, for calling us in. Beautiful. Okay, so like any other fish, um, just breaking it down kind of into loins, uh, just running the knife down the back, down this, the bottom of the belly. And then with Benito, you can just go ahead and slice the whole loin off, which is what I do. I'm not a master filleter though, but got down to the bone and got some meat off, so. So once I had all the meat separated, then I portioned about into smaller portions and got them ready for making sushi. And we also had a little bonus whitefish from when we uh, went into the beach. That one I filleted up, small little guy, but it was definitely enough meat to make some ceviche, which I'll show you in a sec here. Now for the ceviche, I just cut the fish up, threw some lime juice on it, let it sit in the fridge for like 30 minutes. Uh, went ahead and prepped some red onion, chopped up some cilantro, some avocado, and that's it. That's all I really put in it. I uh, kept it really simple, just salted the fish once I put the lime juice on it, and then went ahead and fried up a little tortilla for a tostada and I had to split it in half so my girlfriend could have some. And that was the end result. I topped it off with some of the taco sauce that comes in a blue container. You can find it at Ralph's, Spawns, whatever. And that's that. All right, and for the sushi rolls, I went ahead and started out with some spicy tuna. Uh, made that with some kewpie, some sriracha, a little bit of orange uh, juice, and some sesame seed oil. Mix it up once you chopped it all fine. Put that in the fridge went ahead and rolled the rolls now in this video the rolls that are featured are really they were okay um i filmed the next night and i accidentally formatted my card so there's none of that video but at the end i have some iphone clips but in this one we didn't really balance the flavoring of the orange and the fish it needed some kind of spice or a little bit of um sear or some salt to kind of balance with the fruity flavor so they were slightly bland but on the second day we seared it up a little bit more while it was on the roll um, and then added the lemon on top instead of orange although we did do an orange one and it was really good 
and then we seared the jalapeno with the salt on it added a little bit of eel sauce a little bit of sriracha mayo it was really good balanced really nice bonito is really good to eat raw obviously be very careful on how much you take because the fish does go bad within like three days in the fridge so you want to be sure that you can eat the entire fish that you catch it is really good on the smoker so if you do plan on smoking some smoked fish lasts a lot longer than raw fish but get out there catch some bonito on light line and uh, have fun with it hope to see you guys on the next one shoots